I have a new shoe here and I want to talk to you about that but also I have a couple videos. So we just got back from NRA and at NRA, the National Restaurant Association show, that is not the other NRA if you were thinking of that one, but we got to meet with tons of different people in the industry. We ended up connecting with like 500 to a thousand different people in the industry that came by our booth. We talked to different chefs. We're gonna have people on the podcast who are in the industry. So we can't wait to uh, have people on that are chefs, bartenders, servers. But as it relates to this shoe, we were there with the whole team. So myself, Daniel Shemtob, our founder, also uh, one of his good friends, Hike, and they've known each other for forever. Uh, he's part of the company and he gave us the rundown on how this was a happy accident. And then I was able to catch up in the Uber ride on the way over to the show with Brett Golliff, our shoe designer. If you haven't checked out his video where I sit down with him and we talk through his time in the industry designing for Converse, New Balance, uh, working with uh, the Jordan brand, a Hummer, uh, and designing the inside of the Corvette, you gotta check that one out. But we go into this shoe right here. And before we do that, I'm gonna uh, just kind of walk through a couple of things that make this shoe unique. So obviously it has the non-slip on the bottom, which all of our shoes do. This is the Orbit model. So we have the Orbit and the Space Cloud. The Blueberry Jam is gonna be available in the Orbit. And the Orbit's different in the sense that it's more of a front of house shoe, great for servers um, who are on their feet all day and moving. Uh, and it's a lot lighter because it doesn't have, it just has non-slip here and here. It doesn't have it in the middle here. Um, and so that way you're able to, you know, have that forward movement. You'll also notice there's a bigger heel counter. Uh, I was talking to our designer about this and he was saying that that's designed to kind of push the foot forward a little bit to give you that forward uh, motion. And then uh, it has a nice little strap here to pull it up on your heel. So that way when you're putting the shoe on, it's really easy to get into it. It's a nice slip on design. It does have laces, but the laces aren't actually needed. They're just more for look. I actually really wanted to point out the laces because when I put these on and I unboxed them today, the laces are so unique in the sense that they're not just a plain lace. It's like a little speckle on the lace, which is super cool. Um, the knit, you'll notice that the knit pattern goes this way. And then these are little like speckles here. Um, and then it has a speckled bottom. Uh, and that's really cool. It's like a, a, di a difference between where the toe is and where the rest of the shoe is. The knit is super premium. So I talked to our shoe designer and he was saying this is comparable to the other knits you see in the industry, whether you're looking at an Adidas knit or a Nike uh, fly knit, you're gonna see the same type of quality, but in a work shoe, which is really rare compared to some of the other knits you might see in like a Shoes for Crews or a Skechers. Uh, and then there's these little loops around here where the laces go. It almost feels like, um, it almost feels, I don't know, I don't know how to describe like a suede. Uh, is what these feel like right here feel like right here uh, and then when you put the shoe in you'll feel the arch support on the inside right here um, the the uh, inside sole the insert is removable this one's going to be thinner than what you find on our space cloud but that one's a lot thicker but this shoe is really designed to be breathable and uh, lightweight and you can switch these out and put your own in uh, but i'm going to actually roll with the stock one it's it's great for um just moving around and then this inside right here is a dark color so that way if it starts to get dirty from wearing it for you know a while then you won't be disappointed because it's not going to be like white and start getting really nasty and dirty um, but overall shoe feels good it has a bendable sole as well so it's real uh, pliable in that sense so you can bend it it's nice and durable um, twist it and uh, it's just a really great shoe all around to slip on. Last thing is I like the heel cup here, how it's, I don't even know if that's the right term. Sorry, a shoe designer is gonna tell me like, you gotta use the right term. The heel cup here is nice and hard um, and it feels like your heel just fits right into that. And um, these little cords here, this is sewn really well. So I could pull this and pull it hard and it feels like it's gonna be nice and durable. Um, so if you're looking for a new work shoe, uh, whether you're front of house, like I said, uh, is where most of the people who are going to want this are, um, then this is a great option. Also, we've heard a lot of people saying like, I like shoes, the work shoes that I can wear out of work. So they are wearing them throughout the day at work and then they can go do their stuff after and not have to change out of their work shoes. So um, 
go ahead and pick up this limited edition blueberry jam uh, you'll see that it's a limited edition meaning you know we're only going to make so many and then once they're sold out um, we may bring it back sometime in the future but it's not guaranteed so get it while you can and now let's go ahead and get into that content where we're going to talk first uh, with a hike when we're walking down the street we were actually walking to this restaurant um, I'm not recalling what the name is, but it was um, near that bean, the little silver bean in Chicago. Uh, it was like right across the street from that. It was a really cool, um, really cool bar that they took us to. Uh, and on our way walking there, we started talking about just what inspired this shoe to be made. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and get into the Uber with me and Brett. And we'll go ahead and uh, talk about, you know, some of his design choices with the shoe and how that came to be. So I hope this is helpful and giving you more of the details behind the scenes on the Blueberry Jam. And thank you so much for all you do, whether you work in the hospitality industry um, or, and you're a server, a bartender, uh, whatever it is that you do, thank you so much for serving all of us. Hopefully we can serve you in the same way. All right, hi, tell us the story of Blueberry Jam. All right, so Blueberry Jam is a happy accident. Basically, we were trying to make what is now known as the Nebula, but the factory sent us the colors reversed. And uh, originally we thought it should be called the Silver Surfer. And uh, yeah. This man was not lying. I was not lying. I'm the Silver you. Surfer, yes. And for obvious reasons, we had to change it. And so we went with Blueberry Jam because we all love it. And uh, that's what it looks like. Now be honest, out of all jams, what's your favorite jam? I'm a strawberry kind of guy, personally. I'm Smokers? Hey, uh, whatever. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> I'm going to Apricot. Apricot. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay, fancy. Well, it, it came by accident. Like, uh, we started making this like cream cheese scenario that had apricot on top of it. Oh, it was brie. It was brie like, and apricot. Oh, and that's, like, a, that's a delicious combination. Stacy does that for Thanksgiving usually. Absolutely spell it. We should probably do an apricot one. Let us know that's in the suppose, comments right? if we need to have somebody make us some uh, brie and some, some apricot. Like tart? Some blueberry dish. Recipes would be great. Drop your rest, favorite blueberry recipe in the comments. Let's Let us go. know. All right, so that was awesome, right? Getting to hear from Hike and getting to see like all of the uh, things that led up to this shoe being made. Now we're gonna go ahead and get in the Uber uh, with Brett, our shoe designer, and he is going to walk us through what happened uh, in terms of the design decisions that he was making, the ways he thinks about colors and how the Blueberry Jam came to be. Um, don't worry, we were safe in this Uber. I, I feel like as we're driving the whole time, there's like, noise in the background happening, but we were good to go um, driving down the streets of Chicago. And if anybody's been to Chicago, you know, it was like a five mile drive, but it took like 45 minutes to get there. So uh, we had plenty of time to kind of catch up and uh, talk through it. But let's go ahead and hop in the Uber and uh, talk with Brett Golliff, our shoe designer, about how the shoe came to be. Uh, so what that means is, is bringing in second colors and second tone. So Maritime Blue, which is already on the site, I had like, oh, I, I always accompany that with another light blue just to kind of like pick it off, right? Yeah. Um, what we call nebula uh, is, is the color. Like I always put it with, it's called ancient water is the Pantone. Yeah. Uh, and like I'll hit it with that just to give it a little emphasis. So I had them use that second layer of thread, them being our, our factory partners, use that second layer of thread of ancient water. Yeah. And it just came back like way too too chromatic for what we wanted it to be for the main release got it so but we all really liked it like internally we joked it, of it as like silver surfer and uh, <laughs> but like you know for numerous reasons that's not like a part of our branding and other stuff but as we all started talking about it we always like to tie back to our industries right so a hospitality scenario it felt like blueberry jam so like jam and biscuits or something do like you that, like blueberry right? jam i do like blueberry jam because blueberry jam is pretty some my favorite jam, but it's up there. I'm more of a preservative guy. But um, <laughs> anyway, <Some> smuckers, <laughs> yeah. old school smuckers. Drop no. your favorite jams in the comments, by the way. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I mean I like preserve, you know, fruit preserves going on to it. It's it's great. Anyway, apricot in particular. We have to be honest. Uh, but no, it just felt like the right color. It felt like the right naming for it. And then obviously all of the photography and other pieces really accentuates the kitchen and the use of it. To me, it looks like like literally like the flower from like biscuits with blueberry on it. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it's a dope shoe. I it's, it reminds me like as a nice counterpart to wine tasting as well. 
Uh, they have wine tasting. That's obviously in the red family. This is the blue family variation of it. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, That'd be dope. That's the story of the blueberry jam. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. That wraps it up for today. The release of our blueberry jam in the Orbit style. Like I said, this is a limited edition colorway and we're not going to have it forever. So go ahead and click the link in the description below if you want to get your hands on a pair. If you're watching this video and this time has gone by and we don't have it anymore, I'm sorry. We have a lot of colors that we're always coming out with. We're trying to come out with at least uh, one color a quarter. So stay tuned, make sure to stay up on email, SMS, and we'll let you know. We even give away early access to be able to access these before anybody else does. So that's the best way if you see a colorway that you really like and you're hoping to get in on the action next time moving forward, make sure to sign up for email and SMS on the website. All right, my name's Joe from Snibs, signing out. Peace.